Hi guys, I am Saloni and welcome back to our channel Codera. So in today's video, I will share the Infosys interview experience of a candidate who applied for the role of systems engineer for the package of 3.6 lakh per annum. So the candidate is from electrical engineering branch and he is pass out in 2022 batch. And guys, his interview was on 1st June 2022. So this is the latest interview experience. And here, candidate don't want to reveal his identity. That's why I can't tell you his name. So now let's see what are the question interviewer asked him. So first, interviewer asked him to show his ID proof. So as ID proof, you can use your college ID or any government ID proof like Aadhaar card. So guys, Infosys always first ask for the ID proof. So be ready with your ID proof at the time of the interview. And then the interviewer ask him very obvious question, which is tell me about yourself. So I have discussed this question many times in my previous video, and I will provide the video link in the description box. But here, one thing I would suggest you that this is the very common question. So prepare it very well. After this, the interviewer asked him, "Do you know any programming language?" So because the candidate is from electrical branch, that's why the interviewer asked him this question. So in answer of this question, he mentioned C++ and DBMS. So then after his answer, the next question interviewer asked him was, "What are the OOPs concept in C++?" So guys, here you can simply notice that the interviewer will only ask about those things that you will mention in your resume, introduction, or in answer of any question. So always answer carefully and wisely. Because sometimes a student mention those skill which they don't have, and when the interviewer asks some question related to those skills, then they are not able to handle those question. So always tell the truth in your interview. So in answer of this question, you can mention the six major concept of OOPs, which are object, class, encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, and polymorphism. And I would suggest you to prepare definition and example of all these six major concept of OOPs. After that the interviewer asked him what is method overloading and method overriding so in answer of this question you can mention their definition with some example so here is their definition so you can say like if a class has multiple methods having same name but different in parameters then it is known as method overloading and it is compile time polymorphism while if this sub class has the same method as declared in the parent class then it is known as method overriding and it is runtime polymorphism so after the definition you can add some examples after this interviewer ask him what is the difference between interface and abstract class so this is the question from java but still interviewer asked him so in answer of this question you can mention some of these differences so you can say like in abstract class we can have abstract and non abstract methods while in interface we can only have abstract methods and abstract class does not support multiple inheritance while interface support multiple inheritance and also in abstract class we can extend it using the extends keyword while an interface can be implemented using keyword implements so in this way you can mention three or four differences and after this interviewer asked him some sql queries based on mean and max function like write a sql query to find the second highest salary and if you want to practice top sql queries for interview then watch this videos and the video link is in the description box so after this the next question was what are the joins in sql and what do you understand by keys in dbms so i have already uploaded videos on this question so you can check out those video and the video link is in the description box and then the interviewer asked him do you have any previous work experience so if you have any work experience so you can say yes otherwise you can say no but if you have the experience then you have to explain the interviewer what you have learned from your previous work experience and here you can also mention your internship or any training program that you have completed after that interviewer asked him are you aware about the notice period so if you are aware then you can say yes otherwise you can say no but when you applied in any company then you should know about all the criteria and condition of the company so before registration please check all the detail about company and the drive so now our next question is would you be willing to relocate if required 
सो इट्स आंसर इज कम्प्लीटली डिपेंड ऑन यू इट्स आंसर मे बी यस और नो बट हियर आई वुड सजेस्ट यू टू से यस बिकॉज एवरी कंपनी वॉन्ट्स द इम्प्लॉय हु इज फ्लेक्सीबल हु कैन रिलोकेट अकॉर्डिंग टू द कंपनीज नीड सो इफ योर आंसर इज यस सो यू कैन से लाइक यस आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड अबाउट दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू यूज माई स्किल्स एंड आई लव टू विजिट डिफरेंट सिटीज एंड टू मीट न्यू पीपल सो आई एम डेफिनेटली ओपन टू रिलोकेट एंड सपोज इफ यू विल से नो इन आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन देन द इंटरव्यूअर मे थिंक दैट यू आर वेरी पर्टिकुलर अबाउट द जॉब लोकेशन सो इन केस ऑफ दिस सिचुएशन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ डायरेक्टली सेंग नो यू शुड से लाइक आई डू लव लिविंग इन इंदौर एंड वुड प्रिफर टू स्टे हियर हाउ एवर फॉर द राइट अपॉर्चुनिटी आई वुड बी विलिंग टू कंसिडर रिलोकेटिंग इफ नेसेसरी सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन एंड इन लास्ट द इंटरव्यूअर आस्क हिम डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन फॉर मी सो गाइज डोंट मिस दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द कैंडिडेट से नो आई डोंट हैव एनी क्वेश्चन but you should ask question because it shows that you cares about the organization so you can ask one or two question that are focused on the organization so you can ask like what are the goal the company has for the next year so it shows that you are planning to work for a long time with the firm or you can ask the question related to your job role so you can ask if i selected for the role then what could i do in this role to help you achieve your vision it shows that you are really interested in joining the company so this is how you can answer this question so guys that's all about this video i hope you will like this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching